Here's another little piece of advice, fars. You take some fuck, then some shit, then some fuck, then some shit. You gotta fuck shit stack. A fuck shit stack. Take some fuck, then some shit, then some fuck, then some shit. You gotta fuck shit stack. A fuck shit stack. It's a stack of fuck shit on top of itself, nigga. I make references to weapon room. Ancient or new, I wear bulletproof vests for no apparent reason. Hey everybody, welcome back to more Pokemon Soul Silver and um, in this episode we're going to be surfing south of Pallet Town into uh, the Cinnabar Islands and finding a bunch of trainers along the way. So uh, this episode is mainly just going to be me fighting uh, the trainers in the ocean areas. I don't really know how to describe it. I know it's on a certain route but I don't know the exact name of that. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to be finding some trainers. I could skip quite a few of them but I'm going to be finding them for the experience because I'm a, I think I'm a bit under leveled. And basically, just gonna wreck them all with my Jolteon. Because, um, the majority of them will be, uh, using water type Pokemon. Alright, so, um. While I take on these trainers here, stuff to talk about. Well, just, uh, talk about my day today. Uh, <laughs> Geometry, we got our t Chapter 5 test back, and I got a 102 on it, so that's pro. I almost have an A in geometry now, so that's good. If I get an A in geometry, I'll have straight A's, which will be epic, 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 pro shit. And what else? Alright, so uh, nothing really special happened in geometry besides that. Um, then I get back to the school, and, uh, you know, I'm feeling great and stuff, and, uh, and by the school, I mean the middle school, because geometry's at the high school. So I'm at the middle school and I get back and I'm like just waiting for you know my second period class to start. So I'm sitting in the hallway with my friends from geometry and stuff and you know we're just chilling and stuff and I feel great and uh, then like I get into language and uh, yeah the language is going decent I guess. My language class is extremely boring as I mentioned before and uh, so I'm just sitting there you know doing my work and then I just feel like crap. Like, it was just like this horrible feeling in my stomach, it just felt like someone was stabbing it repeatedly, and so, I'm just like, alright, maybe this is just, maybe this will just pass by, because I do have a lot of stomach pain so sometimes, it's not like a chronic thing, but it's happened before, so, uh, I'm sitting there waiting for deer by, and then, uh, I just start getting really hot and sweaty and stuff, and it's funny because normally I'm kind of cold in that room, but like I'm getting all hot and sweaty and yeah, I just, uh, I'm feeling a little bit lightheaded and stuff, and then I just start feeling really nauseous and like I'm just going to hurl. So I have to go to the bathroom, I teach just like, yeah, g GTFO, so I go in the bathroom and you know, normally... It, when you're feeling like you're gonna hurl and you're running to the bathroom to make the epic dash of destiny you're gonna like just barely hit the toilet but no like I get in there and I can't throw up I don't know what it was like like it, I, I felt like I was gonna throw up but nothing was happening and then after a while I didn't end up throwing up so uh, I uh, went back to the class asked to go call my mom and uh yeah I came home around what time did I come home? Probably got home around sometime between 11:30 and 12. And some of you might be like, "Why didn't you use that time to make videos?" Uh, well, <laughs> my answer, my response to that is, "Go throw up and then tell me that you feel like making videos." That's all I'm gonna say. I just, I just laid down and watched the TV. I was bleh. But I am feeling a lot better now. My stomach doesn't hurt. I'm not nauseous. I just ate a good meal. And, um, yeah. So, uh, not a very long day, considering, uh, what was it? Considering I missed three of my classes, but, uh, <clears throat> you know, you know how that goes. And, uh, tomorrow in geometry is our retake day on test, and, uh, on all of my tests, I've gotten a C or a B, but uh, there was one test that I had an 80 on. That was my lowest test grade, so I'm going to be retaking that test, and hopefully I can get at least uh, 
like a 90 on it, so then my grade will be even more bumped up. So that'll be nice. And, uh, yeah. Like I said, there's quite a few trainers on this route. So, um, hopefully this isn't boring. I didn't feel like doing a bunch of editing to make it, like, 12 times faster than normal and then have to find some music to put over it or something, so... Just leaving it like this. It I did use uh, the built-in speed-up thingy to speed up some of the battle animation. So uh, it's a little, f it's a little sped up. <clears throat> but um, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to make it to geometry. <clears throat> well, I know I'll make it to geometry tomorrow. Yes, I haven't thrown up again, so it was probably just something I may have ate or something. I don't know. It was also Nerd Day at my school, which was pro. So I got to dress up like a nerd. And make your own assumptions on that one. But uh, just need to spray Max Repel here. I mean, no, duh, I need to revive Jolteon because that Quagsire killed it. Oh, the irony. See, there's proof that Quagsire is so push. Quagsire can take out Jolteon, and Jolteon's like the best fifth gen UU. No, just kidding. There's way better ones, but still, Jolteon's a freaking boss. So um, you guys uh. I don't. I want to do comment questions of the day, but I'm having trouble like coming up with like questions. Like I, I could probably do like three episodes, and then like I'd just be out of questions. So, but I'll eventually probably end up doing those. <sighs> so when I got home, I just uh, changed clothes and laid down and watched the TV. There was a MythBusters uh, marathon on. At the time of this narration, I believe it's still going on. But, uh, it'll probably be over by the time this gets uploaded, but it was, it was fun watching. I've never, like, actually watched Mythbusters before, and I've heard, like, all about it and stuff, so it was fun to watch, I guess. And I think we just have two more trainers to fight, so we're almost done with this route. Just just look at how pro shit Jolteon is here. Oko, oh, this freaking polywhirl. Like a freaking boss, oh my god. It's like one it KO'd everything on this route. It's just an amazing Pokemon. <coughs> that was a burp, I am not throwing up again. Just to uh Yeah, I'm not fighting that trainer down there. <laughs> Oh, also, Portal 2 is, uh, 50% off on Steam. I need to buy that after this narration. Portal 2. Yep. I'm gonna hopefully be able to... Uh, hopefully do an LP of that. That'd be really nice. I've also got Portal, which I downloaded for free. It was on... It was free for, like, four days on Steam a while ago, so... I'll have Portal and Portal 2, and then I can start playing through them. Which would be fun, fun, fun. And that's going to be the last trainer I found on this route. We still have one more, and we do have time. Well, two if you count that girl down there, but we do have time, but I don't feel like doing it. So here's Cinnabar Island. As you can see, uh, well, you can't, there, Blue is in the corner, but we're not going to talk to him yet. So I'll see you guys next time, and remember to comment, like, and subscribe.